This is Affinity League 25, match 4. We are currently at a score of 3-0. We are on the draw once again. And uh, this hand has some Blink Moths. Has a little bit of Mana Ramp, which is nice. We could turn 1 that Ravager. Um, I think it's keepable. Alternatively, we turn 2 the Ravager. Blood Crypt untapped. Flame Blade Adept. Alright. I could blast that right away. Okay, so we can drop. No risk at that. Ornithopter. Opal. So I can play the Blink Moth Nexus here. To have an attacker and I can just kill that adept I think it's worth it getting rid of their early threat and having one of mine so I'm gonna get out the scourge and then blast before they're able to do anything with it so black red hollow one which I've had mixed experiences against. They can have some super aggressive starts, which murders me, obviously. Looks like they either don't have anything or they're sitting back on some removal. With that in mind, I want to probably have as much fuel for the Ravager as possible. Which means I'm going to play the Darksteel Citadel this turn. And then the Ravager. Which in response they might kill something. So perhaps I should have left Blink Moth Nexus up to ha still have an attacker. Oh, I'm sorry, I need one more mana in order to have an attacker, don't I? Yes, and they bolt the Scourge, which makes sense. Which they were probably going to do before combat anyway. So I'm not too upset about that. I suppose it is it is probably better to have played the Ravager after combat to give them the chance to mess up and not bolt Scourge early on. But that was not the decision I made, so here we go. Alright, the Goblin Lore... Tassiger, huh? Alright. Okay. They must not have gotten very good stuff there. So. Black, red, hollow one. I like a whip flare. I like rest in peace. To shut off the Tasker that we did see. Uh, Angler. Stuff like that. Um, take out the Memnites. Bring in Ancient Grudge. Bring in Whip Flare. Go down Overseer because he's kind of slow. And that's it. Is that what I want? Karn seems like it could be slow against them, but it also puts some big dudes in the field. Oh, I've brought in two whip flares. I might not need two whip flares. What does that bring me back? An overseer or a memnite? I think I like going down one whip flare and going back up one memnite to have some of that mana ramp. So I'll try that. Whip flare is good against blood ghasts. And other smaller creatures. There is the mentioned Whip Flare. Not a whole lot in the way of threats in this hand. But considering that they might have uh, whatever that spell is that makes everyone discard and then draw. It is low on threats. I am on the draw. Yeah, I think I have to mulligan. This one's a little bit better. 
Still has some mana ramp. Has some low creatures into some high payoffs. So I will keep it. If there's a land, I will keep that on top. Blast is an answer. A slow one, though. I think I have to keep it to have that answer. Blood Crypt right away into a Lava Mancer. Okay, well, that helps us a little bit. So play that. And I do not yet have enough artifacts. So next turn, if they don't kill this pest, I can blast the Lava Mancer. Okay, they have cast nothing. Still can't use Opal. So they do Faithless Looting. Yep. Hmm. If they bring out Hollow One, am I forced to kill it instead? Of the Lava Mancer? Uh, but Lava Mancer kills my stuff. Ooh, two, lo two Hollow Ones. Ugh, gross. Three... Oh my goodness gracious. I'm quite certain I cannot deal with that. Holy buckets. Oh gods. And then they just kill pest anyway. Gross. I think I have to concede. There's not much I can do about that disgustingness. Gosh, this deck is so dumb. <laughs> oh, wow. And that was controlled, too. Wow. What a starting hand for them. Oh, my Galvanic Blast Keep looks a bit pale in comparison now. Not quite sure why they have a stop in my upkeep. They can't do anything. Uh, what are the outs here? I guess Citadel, kind of. So, what can I do here? They are swinging for 12 next turn, minimum. I suppose I can play the Vault Scourge, kill the Lava Mancer, take 12, but taking 2 from Scourge because I can't pay that, that that's not mana efficient. But it's not any better to play the Ravager or Plating. Because Ravager's not doing anything for me, and Volt Scourge is my best chance at with the life swing. So I guess I do that. I just blast now before they can do anything. And uh yeah, we're gonna take a massive hit going down to six. Gross. The life swing back's gonna be one, two, three, four. F four? At best? What do I need here? Ugh. Man, hollow one. Hollow one, hollow one, hollow one. So killer. Drum. So I go up four to ten. Do I chump? Am I chumping? With Ravager? Even that's not good. Yeah, I don't have any outs here. That's just, there's nothing I can do that against that. That's disgusting. Okay. So I think I have to do stuff that gets me a little farther ahead somehow. I'm not quite sure what that is. Just not dying fast would be great. <laughs> I'm going to stick with the sideboard I have because I think changing game plan is not going to help too much. This this feels a lot better. Play the Scourge, Ornithopter, Opal. Have Champ, maybe. Not the Champ's great against Hollow One. 
It is if they're threats or anything else. So what do I do here? We have Ornithopter, Scourge, Opal. Turns on an extra mana. Yeah, I think it's worth dumping those things. Ornithopter might not have been a smart move. I could have kept Ornithopter. In case that they do that, everybody discards. I'm going to not play the Opal this turn. Gives me a higher chance of keeping the cards I want. Uh, those cards being probably Cranial Plating. Maybe Champion. Once I can get one or both of those cards on the field, then I don't care as much about what the opponent does to my hand. That is probably some removal that they are holding at the ready. Yeah. Not surprised there. Um, so I think I can't cast Champion because they killed the Scourge. So then I'm just going to throw this onto the Ornithopter and swing in. It'll probably lose me the Champion, potentially. They are looting, likely hoping for a hollow one. They dumped two Flame Wake Phoenixes. Yeah. Okay. They might have been digging for a land there. So let's get down everything here. And swing for what I can. The flyers are what's going to be important here, I feel. Etch Champion's not going to do much if the opponent is able to play a hollow one. They are digging fairly desperately. If they had hit a land and have, say, Angler on the field, they can play that and get the Phoenixes next turn. Stomping Ground Shock tells me they probably have... Yeah, so they're going to get the plating which slows me down quite a bit if I could top deck one that'd be great Overseer's not too bad I'll have the two mana to to do something with it uh, I'm not going to worry about Ankamoth Nexus here they did buy themselves a turn or two by dumping that grudge see if it's enough for them. I don't think it is, but I could be wrong. They're at three. I have several different lines of attack. They have four cards in hand, though, and it could be a lot of answers. They have had lots of hand trimming. All right, but we got there. Excellent. So that's we're 4-0, hoping to hoping to make the 5-0, but worst case scenario we go 4-1 and that's that's pretty great as is. So, thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one.